guys, so somebody sent me a video on religious indoctrination, and it's not at all what you think. Whenever you hear indoctrination, most people would just start off by assuming that it's religions indoctrinating children to believe their faith. Well, certain Christians decided to believe that indoctrination was in fact not allowing children to believe in Jesus. So therefore, if you raise your kids uh, in an environment with open-mindedness and you know you don't really have a religion or you have a different religion other than Christianity, you are indoctrinating them not to believe in, in Jesus or the Christian God, which I find to be the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. And uh, there's a, a website, there's a, actually a YouTube channel completely dedicated to this false sense of indoctrination and they have a trailer, and I don't know how to explain it to you, it's, like I said, crazy, stupid, it just, it'll blow your mind, and I almost don't even have words to describe the awesomeness that you're about to witness, so I'll just play the freaking clip. Enjoy. I want to see a child in every public school in America who is trained as a witness for Jesus Christ. When you send that child off to school today, you're sending them into a pagan society. And in the studies are showing that there's virtually no discernible difference between the church and the world. At what point is Southern Baptist going to rise up and say, enough is enough? Whatever we want to we are no longer a Christian nation. Christian nation. We've got to do something different. The schools are failing. See, wasn't that amazing? And don't worry, there's more. We also have to cover the topic of homosexuality and how being open to that is morally wrong. Yeah, I would go to six or seven days a week, not just Monday through Friday. You're not going to be painting, okay? You're going to be writing down whatever comes to your mind when you hear the word gay or when you hear the word lesbian. So nothing's right or wrong There's in no this right. either? That's right. They are stealing our children. But because they are leaving the body of the child with us, we don't even know what's happening. Public schools have become a criminal enterprise. Parents are willing to admit that there are these problems and yet believe that their children will somehow escape. They won't. You think that these children are going to escape? You think they're going to get away from this? Well, they won't. And it may have taken a school shooting to wake us up, to see the danger, but that's a very small danger compared to all the other things that go on that can destroy our children. Of course, they had to bring up the school shooting thing again. Uh, we, we needed, we needed the school shooting to wake us up. Really? Really? I can't take it. I can't take the stupidity anymore. It's driving me nuts. A teacher is in trouble for bringing a religion into his classroom, but should he lose his When we job? go into a public school, we have to leave God at the door. It just came to the point where I couldn't do that anymore. I can't tell the students about God. I can't give him glory for anything. <laughs> you mean to tell me that we can't force our beliefs? on these impressionable children. What are you trying to do? It's so unfair. Everything exists to proclaim the glory of God. And the one place where we send our kids seven hours a day is a place where God's name can't be mentioned. It's not indoctrination, it's insanity. It's not indoctrination, it's insanity. Help us stop the indoctrination. What the fuck are you talking about? It makes no sense. What they want is indoctrination, and they're all pissed off because they're not getting it. And to be clear, I'm using the very respectable source of Wikipedia. It says indoctrination is often distinguished from education by the fact that the indoctrinated person is expected not to question or critically examine the doctrine they have learned. Sounds kind of like Christianity. Just saying. This is now not usually referred to as indoctrination by the religions themselves, in part because of the negative connotations the word has acquired. No, 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 we don't want to call it religious indoctrination because that sounds bad. So what we're going to do is we're just going to have you believe everything that I tell you, and if you question it, you're going to hell. I'm not saying all religion and all spirituality is bad, it just doesn't belong in the school. If you want your kid to learn about God or have some kind of spiritual path, teach it to them at home or send them to a school that specializes in your faith. 
Every Christian parent with a child in government school should see this movie and be forced to confront their unwillingness to do what scripture requires for the children on loan to them by God. A mass exodus from government schools is the only way to preserve the souls and minds of our children. But you know what? I believe that schools exist to teach kids facts, verifiable facts about various subjects. Various beliefs about various myths do not need to be included based solely on the virtue that some people mistakenly believe them, or people don't want their kids to be brought up believing something else. But Christians seem to proceed on the assumption that because their particular brand of insanity isn't forced onto all school children, and because their children are exposed to an open-mindedness that they find terrifying, that they're somehow being religiously oppressed. And I'm sorry, but not being able to force your beliefs on everybody else is not oppression for you. But of course, they all fire back with the same stupid response by saying, well, Christianity may be a belief system, but so is science. Science is just merely another philosophical belief system, just like Christianity. No. You know, I don't need to believe in science. I don't need to believe that the Earth is round. I don't need to believe that the Earth and other planets revolve around the Sun. I don't need to believe in chemistry, biology, or physics. I don't need to believe in any of that because it just is. This video on indoctrination, or the false sense of what they think indoctrination is, that somebody sent me has got to be one of the most ridiculous things I have ever seen, and it just is astonishing that people can really be that stupid. Like, ugh, and like, the video itself is indoctrination. It's, it's kind of a propaganda piece. The music in the background and the, the guy who's always agreeing, he's like, that's right. Oh man, those evil people not letting you spread your, you know, religion and forcing it on the kids and indoctrinating them even though it's reverse indoctrination. Like, it's just, it's so crazy. They're putting this video out to scare people. And yet they say that people who are open-minded and people who take another religion or are without religion are the ones indoctrinating kids. It's just, God, why are people so stupid? Like, I, I can't take it anymore. I can't take it. I'm gonna lose my mind. But anyways, let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. I mean, I'm sure you've run into stuff like this before. I can't be the only one. And if you haven't seen something this ridiculous before, I am so sorry for making you sit through that and watch that video. I'm sure that you are all face palming with me. Let's, let's do it together. Face palm. <sighs> People suck. Anyways, like I said, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, favorite it, share it everywhere. All my social networks are in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.